The Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta is an integral part of the largest estuary on the west coast of the Americas. The Delta is also the key link in the water supply system for the majority of the state's residents. Yet, few Californians can locate the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta on a map, and even fewer understand the importance the estuary plays in our everyday lives and the current distress this fragile system is under. This presentation is designed to shed some light on the key issues surrounding this endangered estuary with the intent of helping to identify solutions that are sustainable for both the environment and the millions of Californians and agricultural and industrial water users who depend on the estuary for their water supplies. Little happens in the Golden State without water. In fact, water is often referred to as the lifeblood of the state's economy and quality of life. If water is the lifeblood, then the Sacramento-San Joaquin Bay Delta is the heart. The Delta serves as the state's main water supply and delivery hub. 25 million residents from the Bay Area to the Central Coast, the Central Valley, and Southern California are dependent on the Delta for all or part of their drinking water supply. Over 3 million acres of some of the most productive farmland in the world and hundreds of thousands of businesses throughout the state also depend on the Delta for their water supplies. The Delta's rich ecosystem is home to more than 700 native plant and animal species and provides significant recreational opportunities. The estuary also serves as an indispensable part of the Pacific Flyway, which links North and South America in a vast migration corridor for hundreds of bird species. Everyone agrees America's largest and most important Pacific Coast estuary is in decline. What is causing the crisis is a subject of much greater debate and discussion. While significant research and regulatory action have focused on the state and federal pumping operations as a known stressor in the Delta, until recently, far less attention has been focused on other important factors and stressors resulting from human activity and growth. While scientific studies and reports continue to acknowledge that invasive species, declining food availability, toxic contaminants, urban wastewater and storm water discharges, and unscreened in-delta diversions have all had serious effects on delta fisheries, little has been done to address these stressors. The delta is formed at the convergence of three major water sources. Flows come from the Sacramento River Valley, east side tributaries and in-delta precipitation, and the San Joaquin River. While almost two-thirds of this water is either used in the Bay Area or flows out to the Pacific Ocean, only a little more than a quarter of flows are diverted for the Central Valley and state water projects in the South Delta. As California's population has grown, so have demands on the Delta. Human activity has clearly accelerated natural changes in the Delta, and all signs point to increasing pressure on the estuary in the future. The Delta region itself has nearly tripled in population since 1960, while statewide population has more than doubled from less than 16 million to nearly 39 million today. California's rapid population growth shows no signs of letting up as 5 million more residents are expected by 2020. By 2050, the state's population is expected to approach 60 million. Most of these new residents are expected to be located in areas that are already dependent on the Bay Delta and on an aging water supply infrastructure that is already bursting at the seams. The impacts of human activity in the Delta Estuary are far-reaching. California's two main water supply projects, the Federal Central Valley Project and the State Water Project, depend on the Delta to deliver water to many of the major regions of the state and the residents and businesses that reside there. It's easy to single out these large pumps as the cause of all of the Delta's problems, but as we'll see, these projects are only one of the many factors and human activities impacting the estuary. For instance, other major diversions of delta water also occur upstream and in the heart of the estuary. These diversions serve residential and industrial users within the delta and also include large diversions by San Francisco, East Bay Mud, and other Bay Area communities such as Solano, Napa, Contra Costa, and Alameda. Over 2,200 largely unscreened and unregulated smaller diversions in the Delta also impact the estuary. Most of these are agricultural diversions which pump water for nearby farms. The Delta and its tributaries also serve as the primary point of storm and wastewater discharge for municipal agencies, industrial operations, and agricultural operations upstream and throughout the Delta. 
Over 235 million gallons of partially treated sewage, along with discharges from abandoned mines and other industrial facilities, and acres of irrigated farmland are flushed into the delta, adding daily to the degradation of water quality. The Bay Delta is arguably one of the most invaded estuaries in the world. At least 185 alien species currently inhabit the delta, and they have had far-reaching negative effects on native species and the delta ecosystem. Few issues in the delta are as clear-cut as predation. Larger predatory species eat smaller fish, and non-native species pose a particularly significant predation threat in the delta. Many of these predators, such as largemouth and striped bass, were planted in the delta for sport and recreational fishing purposes, with little concern for the native species they now endanger, such as salmon, delta smelt, and steelhead. Finally, according to the California Department of Water Resources, climate change is already having an impact on California's water resources and the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta. Existing climate change models predict that warmer temperatures, changing patterns of precipitation and runoff, and rising sea levels will profoundly affect the Delta ecosystem and ecology. The estuary is in crisis. Despite the expenditure of billions of dollars and years of work by government agencies, efforts to restore the delta have failed. Fisheries are in decline. State and federal water pumping operations are being curtailed, causing reduced agricultural productivity and job losses in the Central Valley and water supply restrictions in Southern California. Most experts predict a catastrophic flood from the estuary's aging and inadequate levees sometime in the next 20 years. For most, it is a question of when not if the region will be hit by Katrina-like flooding and devastation. In addition to the direct harm to people, property, and the ecosystem, a significant levee failure could halt water deliveries through the Delta for years. Clearly, action by regional, state, and federal agencies and policymakers are long overdue and immediately needed. Consensus-based solutions have failed, and renewed leadership is necessary to prevent catastrophic ecological and economic harm. The Coalition for Sustainable Delta is working to address these and other challenges through education, cooperation, research, and where necessary, legal action. The Coalition is a not-for-profit organization comprised of water users who depend on the Delta for conveyance of a large portion of their water supplies and individuals who utilize the Delta for aesthetic and recreational enjoyment. Coalition members recognize that the health of the estuary and its ability to function as a reliable water conveyance hub are intertwined, and as a result, the Coalition is committed to promoting the long-term ecological health of the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta and its native species, and ensuring a reliable and sustainable water supply for California farms, businesses, and residents. For more information about the Delta, the Coalition, and our activities, please continue to explore the rest of the content on our website at sustainabledelta.com.